All right, Mario has defeated Larry Koopa in Castle 7. All that is left is Bowser's Castle. Where? Ah, I didn't get to read on top. Who cares? Anyway, here we go. The front door. The front door! All right, here we go. Ah, uh, which door do I go into? Door number one, door number two, door, door number three. The heck? Uh. I wonder how many tries it's gonna take me to beat this. Whoa, to beat this castle. <laughs> Um, I think, uh, I'll go to door number eight. Oh, whoa! Oh, freaking football players. What? Oh, oh man, that was lame. Go to number four right here instead. <laughs> okay, I guess doors one through four don't matter what you go into. You still end up here, I think. I think door number eight is the door you go to to eventually get to Bowser. If I remember, whoa! If I remember correctly, hey, football players, quit hopping around like your ballerinas. It's ridiculous. Yeah, this is the path. There's a disco ball. Hey, it's Ninji. We haven't seen Ninji in. Long time since Mario 2. Watch out for the disco ball. The disco ball could shine on you. Oh, that's stupid. I couldn't think of nothing. Um, yes, here we go. Wow, that was quick. The final battle. I guess the Walmart smiley face? I thought I was supposed to fight Bowser. Ah, there he is. Boy, he can't harm me right here. He just flies around and scares you, makes you think you need to run around. So, now, he, all right, here we go. Now he attacks. Throwing these things. No, no throw him up at Bowser, you idiot. There you go. Ah. Boom. Fly out of here. This part's pretty cool right here, how he gets right there in your face. At the time, you know, it's like, whoa, that's a pretty cool effect right there. Okay, Halloween's over. What is this? Ah, thank you. Alright. What am I running around for? He can't attack me right here. <laughs> Buck Bowling Paul? Come on, quit bowling and fight. Ah, uh, ah, oh, come, no, what? Yes. I'll try to juke him out here. Uh, yeah. He retreats, comes back to the screen, gets in your face again, does his final set of attacks. This Bowser battle is much easier than I remember. I don't think it was ever really the hard except the very first time. Now right here, this is when he goes into ECW mode. Double you! 
Yes, finally. Finally beat this game. Oh, finally gets a kiss from Princess Toaster. I don't think he's up to the games leading to this one. I don't think he ever got a kiss from her when he rescued her. Well, I thought I think well it happened to Mario All Stars when he beat it in the lost levels and whatever. But you know what I mean. Shut up. Oh, this is cheesy right here. Oh, little heart. Get a room. All right, well, that's it. Finally defeated all four games in the Mario All-Stars video game. A lot of frustrating moments, but a lot of fun moments as well. Area director. I thought only restaurants had those. Yeah, the ending's pretty cool. Um I mean, you might think, well, it's not much to the ending. I mean, all you see is just the credits and then walking through different parts of the game. Yeah, that's okay, but, you know, most of the time, as you go back, <clears throat> dang it, my voice had to mess up right here. Uh, as you go back, and, uh, well, when you first beat the game, when you're a kid or whatever, when you first beat a game, at the time, <clears throat> even though the ending may not be that special, you may, uh, you may still like it because you appreciate the fact that you beat the game and you got some sort of ending. Now, games like Captain Skyhawk, um, and I can't think of any other game, but Captain Skyhawk was ridiculous. You beat the game and it tells you game over. And back then, I beat the game when I was a kid and I was like, this is ridiculous. I now beat the game of Game Genie because it was so hard, but I was like, you know, I was like, yes, I finally beat this hard game. And the ending says game over. It was ridiculous. And Yoshi's friends returned back to Dinosaur Land. part right there where it said thank you. I, when I was a kid, little kid, I was kind of stupid because I I was like, what, what if we said F you instead? <laughs> Alright, now they show the all the enemies' names. They should have probably done that in Metroid. So that I won't have any fanboys telling me, you don't know the names of the, of the little porcupine and the little f flying caterpillar um, thing. Bonsai Bill. I thought it was Bullet Bill the whole time, I guess, because it's real freaking huge. Bonsai Bill. Oh, look at the Koopas. Yeah, this is definitely an awesome game. Huh, Blarg. Blarg. Balrog? <laughs> definitely an awesome game. And really enjoyed it when I was a kid, and I enjoyed it. While doing this, let's play. Rip Van Fish. <laughs> Rob Van Dam. Oh, I hated those things. Especially the fishing boo. And the Eries. Oh, the Medusa heads of Mario World. A thrimp. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Well, folks, that is it. Um, it was great to do this long Let's Play. The longest Let's Play I've ever done. Uh, 55 parts. And a lot of frustrating moments, but each and every moment was fun uh, at the same time. Um, I enjoyed doing this. Um, so it was real fun. Thank you for all of you who actually watched all 55 parts. You have no life, but thank you very much anyway. And... So yeah, there you go. 
very fun to do this and finally glad to be done with this and uh, so there you go guys I'm out of here until next time I'm Ron Moore God bless and take care